Guys in this video we are going to learn how we can create a reusable components in react js using props so basically we are going to cover everything that you need to know about props in react js so watch this video until the end and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so now let's go to the visual studio code and start coding so guys here i am in my visual studio code to understand props we are going to create a new component in this react application and then we'll try to make this component dynamic and reusable with the help of props so this is going to give us a very good understanding of how we can use props in react js so guys here under the source i'm just going to create a new component and this component is going to be image.js and here i'm just going to use my rafce command to create my component so my image component is ready so in app.js i'm just going to import my image and i'm just going to replace all this default code with my image component here and we are going to make some changes to our image component so in this image component basically we are going to return an image so here under the source we have to pass some url to the image and we can go to the browser so here in the browser i have a mid journey open here so i can pick any image from here and let's pick image like this so i can copy this image url and put it here so that's my image and i can assign a height of 300 and i can also assign a width of 300 to this image so let's save this so now we have an image tag in our image component and we have imported this image into our app.js and placed it under our main dev container so let's save this go back to the browser and here in the react application i am able to see this image here so guys now i have one image here in my application now let's say that i want to display five such images into this application so let's go back to the visual studio code and try to add four more images to this application so here in my visual studio code i already have one image so to add four more images i'm just going to copy this image four more times and i should be able to add five images to this application so now we have five images in this application if i go back to my browser now i can see that i have five images here so i'm just going to put some css on my main container to give some spacing between the images so here on my main div container i can make display as flex and i can give it a gap of one percent so if i go back to my application now i have five images here but now the thing is that i want to have five images and i want to display different image every time i don't want to display same image on all of these five images so in that case this image should be having a different url and this image should be having a different url but here in our component we can see that we have mentioned only one url which is a static url so that's where we are going to use props to make this image component reusable which means that i should be able to display five different images using the same component with the help of props so here i'm just going to make some change here so instead of passing this url here i'm just going to copy this url go back to my app.js and i'm just going to pass it here to the component so basically i'm passing this url that is src as a prop to this component from my app.js so i can pass uh, this prop to all the five images if i do that now if i go back to image.js so here what i can do is i can just import the props here and here in the source instead of passing the url directly this time i'm just going to pass it as props.src so if i do that basically here in the props i'm already passing src and that's why we can import the props here and we can use props.src in our image tag here so if i do that go back to my application we see that there are no changes in the application it is still working fine but now because i'm not hard coding my url here in the source instead i'm passing as a prop to the component now this component becomes reusable that means i should be able to display five different images using the same component i don't have to create a five different components to do that so that's the benefit of props i just made this component reusable i can reuse it pass the different url to every image so now let's try that i'm just going to pick five different urls from mid journey and put it here so let's go back to the mid journey and here i can pick five different images So now I have made changes to all these URLs. Now I have a different URL for each image. And if I go back to my application and I refresh it, I'm able to see all different images here. Uh, this image is kind of repeated, but you get the idea. Like we can use the same image component and display different image every time. So in my entire application, I can reuse this image component and pass the link to the URL as a prop to this image component. And with the help of props, I'm able to make this component reusable in my application so guys as of now we are just passing one prop to the image component that is src and 
If we go to the image component, we can see that this image component is also having height and the width because height and the width is kind of fixed for the image component and we hard coded these values. That's why if we go back to our application, we can see that all the images are coming as 300 by 300. So now this time I also want that I should be able to reuse this image component for the different size images. Let's say that first image I'm going to have 300 by 300. And if I want to have second image uh, that is going to be 500 by 500, I don't want to create a new component for that. I want to reuse this component for different height and different width. So in that case, what we can do is we can pass two more props here. So here in my first image, I'm just going to pass the second prop that is going to be height. And I'm also going to be passing the third prop that is going to be width. And I'm just going to pass these two props to all my images. If I do that, I should be able to access the props.height here. So I'll be able to get the height by using props.height and I can change it to props width because now height and width we are not fixing it to 300 instead we are making this component much more reusable by passing two more props to it so if i save this go back to my application now we see that there are no changes in the application because we, are, we have still passed the same height and width to all the images so i'm just going to change something here let's say that i want my second image to be 500 by 500 so i can pass 500 by 500 height and width here in the props and if i go back to my application now we can see that it's the same component image component but this time each component is having different image different height and the width so the main idea to understand here is that there can be multiple props that can be passed to the component so for example in this case we are passing three props and let's change it back to 300 by 300 now let's save this so guys last thing that i want to cover in this video is how we can assign the default value to these props let's say that i forgot to pass the props here while calling my image component what is going to happen in that case so let me try adding the another image component here and i'm just going to add one more image but this time i'm not going to be passing any props here so this is going to be the image without props. If I add this image without props and go back to my application. So here if I refresh it, I'm not able to see that. To be able to see that I have to make some changes here in the CSS. So I'm just going to set my flex wrap to wrap. So now you can see that I'm calling the image component, but I'm not able to see any image here because I forgot to pass the props and this image component is expecting the props. So basically we are not passing any link to the image. We are not passing height and the width to the image. So in that case, it's just not showing the image here because for the image to show here it's kind of mandatory to pass the props if in case i forgot to pass the props in the component i want the component to take some default values so i'm just going to set the default values for my props which means if i will not be passing any props to the image it should be taking all those default values so to set the default values for this props i'll go back to my image component here and here in my image component here at the bottom i can say image dot default props and this default props is going to be object and here i can pass the default values for example i can pass the default link here let's say that if i'm not passing any source to my image it's just going to take some default value here if i'm not passing the height and the width it's just going to take the height as 500 and width as 500 so these are going to be the default props so even if i'm not passing any props to the component it's just going to take these as a default values so if i save this and save my app.js go back to my application so now you can see that i'm able to see the fifth image here my fifth image is taking all the default values and the size is 500 by 500 because we have passed 500 by 500 to the default props so that's how we can set the default value for the props in the component so that's all I wanted to cover in this video about the props. If you found a value in this video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.